Now even seniors are demanding that workers have enough PPE, and New York reportedly allows COVID-19 positive staff to continue working in nursing homes. This and more, next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, May 6th, 2020. To stay in the know of long-term care news, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. The demand for sufficient supplies of personal protective equipment for nursing home workers continues to grow. A new survey from AARP revealed that a vast majority of seniors want healthcare workers to get all the PPE they need to cope with the coronavirus pandemic. Quote, older Americans are demanding legislative initiatives that would address the crisis in nursing homes, lack of equipment for healthcare workers, need for food assistance, relief for caregivers, and persistent unemployment, especially among older Americans, AARP researchers wrote. The survey also found that 96% of seniors think nursing homes, assisted living, and residential care facilities should be required to disclose any active coronavirus infections. CMS recently announced an interim rule that mandates nursing homes to report COVID-19 related infections directly to the CDC. Providers are still awaiting guidance details. Other findings have revealed that most seniors also support requiring providers to enable video visitation and providing a federal tax credit to family caregivers for their incurred costs during the pandemic. New York's health department signed off on a move to allow nursing homes and other staff who have tested positive for COVID-19 to continue caring for residents with the virus, according to a news report. Even though local officials from Steuben County had objected to the action at the Hornell Gardens nursing home, state officials approved it, the New York Post reported last week. At least 15 people have died at Hornell Gardens home since the coronavirus outbreak occurred. The state's decision came after testing indicated that one in three of the facility's residents and staff tested positive for COVID-19. The state of New York has been under fire since it issued a directive telling nursing homes that they had to readmit residents from hospitals who had the coronavirus but didn't need intensive care. Nursing home associations have criticized this action because of the inherent dangers in exposing vulnerable nursing home residents to the virus. When asked about the situation at Hornell this week, Howard Zucker, the state health commissioner, said that the facility is taking necessary precautions to keep the residents safe. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week, and I'll see you on Wednesday.